And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Chrono Desolation. That's what we're going to call this deck. Uh, again, another meme tier deck. This one was a tricky one to build for sure. Uh, what it was was a viewer submitted wanted to see a deck with Chrono Break in it, which of course we know Chrono Break is a three mana spell that revives all allies and the allies that died this round and then rally. Okay, so we're reviving allies. Combining that with Servitude of Desolation where all allies that die, you can store them inside of a stasis statue. And then, you know, stasis statue all of the countdown one, and then they'll come back. So kind of putting those two together. So that was the only, um, you know, guidelines to the deck is, you know, build a Chrono Break Servitude of Desolation deck. And so we talked about some different stuff, but ended up going with uh, Echo Sivir here. Sivir is a great champion to bring back. Uh, you know, kind of allows you to block with it better, but, you know, you're going to be rallying with the Chrono Breaks. Of course, we want to have tons of Predict for Echo, and then figuring out what else we wanted to do after that. Uh, we went with some Ferris Financiers that could maybe make more Servitude of Desolations. Like, that could be cool. Um, going with Called Shots. Three of these, like, instead of Preservarium, we're playing Called Shot, um, where we can play that, get this Parallel Convergence in the deck. Because then we can do, like, the Free Attack with the Ephemerals, um, and then we can Chrono Break them back, or we could... Uh, you know, free attack, attack with all of them, let them die, servitude, make a stasis statue with them, next round, get them all back, attack again, right? You know, stuff like that. Maybe we could do something like that. That could be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, and so then we'll just kind of have our normal predict stuff. We'll have echo, we'll have chrono breaks, and let's give that a shot. Siphoning strike seems pretty good with both echo and sivir. They're both, they both have a good amount of power. Um, so we'll try that. All right, let's get to it. We're going to just be playing our games over in normal as we try out this meme tier deck. We're calling it Chrono Break Desolation. You wish Psy Scout was just a 3-3 three, three instead of a 2-4? Yeah, I think that would be nice. That'd, I could see that, but I don't know if they want 3 power elusive. I guess that's the thing that they're a little worried about. Viego Thresh. Is Siphoning Strike going to hit against Viego Thresh? Maybe not. We do want our Predicts. So I'm sending back Mystic Shot. Looking for Predict cards. We want to level up Echo with Predict. Chrono Shift is cool. Thought about playing that of like another way to, you know, essentially bring a champion back or bring a card back. Ooh, these are all pretty cool. So the ancient preparations would be the second predict for Echo, but then I kind of want to just take this called shot because called shot's really cool. All right, I'll just pass. So they waste a mana. Fallen feline. Slip through my paws. Never had luck, never needed it. You must know me. You must. You see me, yes? I can see them throwing the old one in front of Echo and then Glimpse Beyond. And it's it's possible they'll have like a Black Spear or something like that to kill Echo. Okay, they're just doing one damage to Echo there. So they're basically going to probably do another Vile Feast. I'm guessing. But it's only going to be number two, then number three for Predicts. If it was going to be three and four, I would have used that Scrying Sands. All right, maybe we get a Mystic Shot. No Mystic Shot. I like Siphoning Strike and I like Sivir. Uh, Siphoning Strike probably just doesn't really resolve, does it? All right, maybe we take Sivir. I do this for her, for us. V 
Diego. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. So perfectionist is predict number four. Oh no, I I feel like maybe I should just take that fall on V-line. Didn't really want the other two cards. I didn't really want to spend two mana on a time trick. I guess Crying Sands could have just been predict number four, and then I would have had server two desolation available still. Okay, let's reset our mana. Let's have them waste a bunch of mana. I like that. Transform that into a Pharaoh's Financier. Sweet. Well, that worked out pretty well. So we have three Parallel Convergence in the deck now. And three Chrono Break. It's definitely making it seem like I have a Chrono Break. Or something like that. Yeah, that's what they're scared of. Oh yeah, definitely a, a three mana three three predict. That's definitely playable for sure. What delightful agony we shall inflict. That is the price they pay for defying their king. Didn't have anything die, but we get to rally. And rallying school. Okay. Kind of checking to see if they would, you know, uh, counter that or not. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. So this puts them down to three. So close to killing them. Just doing that to reduce the... I guess I could have done it on the Thresh so this thing doesn't die. I guess maybe I should have done that. 
I okay. I was doing I was doing that to reduce the power. Yeah, I should have done it on the thresh, shouldn't I? Um, potentially a game-winning car, but not necessarily. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. I really should have done that on the Thresh. Could have still had another three-power thing alive. That was my bad. Could have still had a three-one alive. I hate the combination of this parallel convergence plus servitude of desolation. Oh no. Man. Now I don't get to play servitude of desolation if I scrying sands that. But I guess I have to scrying sands it. Right? Yeah, I probably should. So the Thresh has to die. You cannot stop me. And that's important. So Viego going level. The shadow wires are just the beginning. And I assume Viego gets through spell shield. So we can chrono break. One candle of Bring back Sivir, Bruiser, and the other thing, and then we can lucky find the Sivir. And now we can still servitude of desolation, which will bring which will put all these in inside the servitude of desolation. Also, which is really cool. But I don't have the attack token next round. Do I? Hmm. I guess I don't. So... With that in mind, I guess I should maybe just play another Bruiser and other Researchers and go five wide. I guess I should just do that. Yeah, no Overwhelm. Someone hit Overwhelm. Well, this is pretty cool, like all these different like weird attacks and reviving and all sorts of weird things like this this deck's doing. Okay, working out. Alright, we got a Jace, Lux, Jace Lux deck. I do like Siphoning Strike against Jace Lux because they don't usually have that much uh, fast speed removal to respond to it, but you know, we want to get some threats and things like that first, so. Sending it back. But now I'd like Siphoning Strike to go to pair along with the Sivir. And we're gonna curve out and play in this financier before attacking. Okay, I just took Chrono Shift, and that didn't work out that well. But I don't really like Ricochet or Ascendant's Rise, so we're gonna try it out again. We'll give it another shot. And yeah, so I want to play that before attacking because they probably want to save their spell mana. Magic has no place here. Cold shot or bruiser or neither. I kind of think cold shot. See, we're. We're making more copies, and so I guess I don't really want to make more copies of Bruiser in the deck. Uh, I think I'm okay making more copies of Cold Shot in the deck. I think I'm okay with that. 
It's like tomorrow, but in triplicate. Have it triplicate. So I'm worried I play Sivir, they play... <clears throat> you know, they play like six mana, deal three to two different things. May take out Spell Shield, kill the 2-4. And then... Um, and then they get to create a Detain. I don't really want them creating that Detain. Kusho LOL says, do you feel like Caitlyn needs a buff? I don't think that the actual card Caitlyn needs a buff. I think Caitlyn's awesome. Three mana, three, three, quick attacks, a really powerful body. We've seen that get nerfed now. Um, like Fio I guess Fjord didn't have quick attack, but Fjord, Draven, those getting getting nerfed. Um, I think Caitlyn's awesome. What I do think is that there could be another Flash Bomb Trap card. Um, I think that's what there could be. Or like Advanced Preparate? No, that's not the name of the card. The... The one mana spell that plants the flash bomb trap, like that could get buffed. I think somewhere in there you could get a buff with we can do this. Um, with Caitlyn is buffing flash bomb somewhere else, but Caitlyn as a card is just fine. I know what I want. So I kind of assume they're gonna have Jace challenge Sivir, and then we'll use Scrying Sands. Let's get started. Alright, I guess that'll do. Getting rid of the Jace like that for one mana. The real GG's. Nah, it's the gold. Okay, we got Zoe Diana. Gonna be lots of Invoke. I like this hand against Invokes. What's up, Stream Noodles? Yeah, it's feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. We are doing some crazy stuff with all of the different attacks and things like that. That last game was just was a pretty normal game, but the first game we had a bunch of attacks against Viego. All right, let's go ahead and just finance here. Oh man, I want to take Glorious Evolution. We're gonna do it. Glorious Evolution. Make our cards cost one less, but really it's all about that augment. Everything replaced itself. 2-1, <laughs> two, get a new card. 2-1, two, get a new card. 2-2, two, two, get a new card. 2-2, two, two, get a new card. No one ever runs out of cards. Everything replaces itself. All right, so we got the Xenotype Researchers in here before we're drawing more cards and stuff. Get that plus three, plus threes on stuff before we start drawing. And yeah, we could attack in with this 3-3. Three, three. And I guess it would help Sivir level up, but you know, like they definitely block it. And I feel like, like it felt like they were going wider than I was. And we didn't need to. Man, one mana short of the Servitude. Okay, let's... Oh, one mana short of Siphoning Strike! How are we one mana short of everything? We do have a lot of predicts in hand. I guess we'll take an Echo. This could be good against, you know, expensive invoke cards as Hextech Transmogulator. The Boomerang Blade can be awesome with Echo of, like, striking multiple times and getting zero mana time tricks. Let me try that. Well, that one. Oh. Hmm. And here's where 
like my constellation. Okay. Um So now we got ten mana so we can use we can play Glorious Evolution this round. And then everything will cost less. Everything will have augment. Including this ancient preparations will have augment. Yeah, now they just need to trade. They're like, uh oh, that's scary. And I'm like, you right, that is scary. I hate traffic. Watch your toes. They got nine cards in hand. All right, we got eight mana. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. We'll play you. Let my stars guide all travelers onward. So they still have ten mana. Or ten cards in hand. So sorry, they still have ten cards in hand. though. Alright, so they've just burned the top card. So they got 10 cards. That sounds fine to me. Dang, down to three. Hmm. Okay. So you cost six mana. Means I have three other mana. Don't get to parallel convergence though, and I really want to. Uh, Alternating reality. I don't know. I could regret this. I'm one mana short. I need to Mystic Shot this thing to take out the Spell Shield and then Boomerang Blade to kill it. So I'm what I'm worried about is Atrocity. Come on, chase. Okay. Because they definitely died in the open attack, so it's just like Atrocity is the only thing that saves them. All right, so we need to create more parallel convergence in the deck. Oh no! That would have got rid of the spell shield, but now I'm—I don't have that mana now. Why did I just predict before drawing? I could have just done that. Also. Parallel convergence, save me. No. Yeah, because then I also would have just put the Chrono Breaks in the deck, too. Man, I really messed that up. That's a cold shot. Yeah, I really messed that up. I can't draw this, can I? I can't, I can't draw this card, so... I guess this time trick. I don't. I, I, I can't think of how I would beat Atrocity now. I could have beat Atrocity if I would have played those first. And then I would have found that Chrono Break, so I, I messed that up by not leading with those. I don't think there's anything in my deck that beats Atrocity. No, there's not. So I guess we just attack and see if they have it. Man, why did I play that so fast? Why didn't I think about that zero mana card? So I threw this game away. Threw this game away. All right, that's the last time that happens. 
All right, we got a hawk mirror. <laughs> got the wild hawk. All right, so let's make up for that last game. It's not always easy when you have all the cards in your hand and you know you have all sorts of decisions, but I could have won that. So I don't know about the perfectionist. You know, that's what I was you know sitting there thinking about whether or not we want another perfectionist because we do want to predict, right? So we want you know so like. The more predicts, the better to level up Echo as fast as possible. So we got Prowling Cutthroat in the Twisted Fate Gangplank deck. That card will turn on Plunder quite a bit. Oh, they're going... This is Mono Bilgewater. Oh. I'm sorry, opponent. Oh, that was a great one to nab. Get that for zero mana. Good card to nab. So, looks like I should have Mystic Shot that Prowling Cutthroat to keep that all from happening. Let's get some Sivers. Sivers are good. Just... We don't need to Mystic Shot that thing now because we're going to take the damage anyway. Let's go ahead and double spell, get 2 2 drops in play. In this timeline, we're don't sure really want any of those. Ouch. True Shot Barrage. I'm your man. So two black market merchants is basically an echo. <laughs> a zero mana time trick. You've got a problem, I've got a price. Deal me in. All the glitters. So that should definitely be a red card, not a gold card, because it takes the spell shield either way. But then the red card would kill my 2-1 and get some more damage. I'll be quick. I kind of think I want to pass. And see what they do. I want to keep the siphoning strike available. Safety will cost. All right, maybe play Bruiser. Mm -hmm. So they have three of my cards, all costing two less mana than normal. So that's these other two over here. Can be undone. I'm just gonna send them in. I know they get some good blocks with the three threes on the two twos, but I have this true shot barrage. Take it up with my friend. I guess that Twisted Fate's closer to leveling up than I imagined. Alright, so that was not the best attack by me. Wow. Blood 
or go, I always get my share. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. Yeah, I still have a lot of mana. Hey there. Don't mind the knife. Eyes up here, or I'll cut him out. Okay. Could have been worse. Could have been better. You won't feel it at first. Which means you can. Let's get to it. Uh, you live it. Taking four. Hmm. Wonder how much this is worth. I guess we're gonna have the mana now for called shots. So that's what we have to be scared of. Maybe he gets spell shield. Oh, overwhelm. Hopefully hit, hopefully no monster harpoon. Wow, they had a monster harpoon. Yeah, I needed that overwhelm. Or sorry, sorry, that spell shield. Well, now it's gotten really now it's getting really difficult now they have that. Yeah, now it's looking bad. Need a really, really good echo. We basically, have to hit Chrono Break. We kind of have no choice but to hit Chrono Break. Looking for this. What's that you got there? Could scrying hands and keep them alive. Definitely scrying sands there. Doesn't matter what we choose because we have time trick. I got all the time in the world. Just Chrono Break? No. Okay. Maybe this can find the card that transforms? No. Boomerang Blade? It's an awesome day for progress. Yeah, Monster Harpoon was... GG's. All right, good game, opponent. Good game. Dreadway Gangplank. I also feel like I... I don't know exactly where I went wrong, but I definitely feel like I went wrong somewhere. I feel like I'm not playing too well. That attack, that attack I made was unnecessary. But it doesn't really beat Dreadway Gangplank, but... Would have put me in a better spot. Plank's good. All right, down to two and two. I think I, I took my opponent too lightly and paid for it. Okay, let's play a little bit better now. We'll get this one, even though we're playing against Zillion Echo, which is an awesome deck. 
I like our chances. Gangplank's one of your least favorite bosses in the Lab of Legends. You can understand that. He's really strong, but you can just find something to deal with the powder kegs. Like That's what I've kind of found with the Gangplank bosses. As long as you can deal with powder kegs, you should be okay. Well, that's easier said than done. I just want to get the Hexite Crystal in before we predict. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. So time bombs do not take up the spell shield, they go underneath the spell shield. All right, Silver, so go get him. All that glitters is mine. Mm, that's a good Silver blocker. So their Echo is already leveled up now. That's their fourth predict. Considering attacking with like everything, no, we can't. Business as usual. You attack with the three three doesn't really feel that great. Like they block with a you know two power thing, and then a time bomb kills it. Glorious evolution again? Yeah, that's the best card. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. I do my own stunts. All right, now it's our turn to try to get a leveled up echo. Oh, man. I want the Ancient Preparations to level up Echo, but then we're looking at like a 7-5 and an 8-6, and it's just like... You know, we should probably take some of these things. Zillion Echo is pretty good. Alright, alright. In this timeline, we're sure to save Ikathia. So we're leaving the two no mana of Hexite Crystal available still. I do kind of want to play Glorious Evolution next round. Only at five. No, it's not safe. Listen to me. These are my streets. Okay. That was nice of them. Is this where we're going to use our servitude of desolation? Man, am I taking that or I'm skipping? Okay, so I'm playing a Hexite Crystal this round. That kills all those. And then... Next round we're playing Glorious Evolution. I guess we just skip. So it'll be for after that. So, of course, I'm doing this right now, so, you know, we save three, exactly three mana. Well, three plus seven. Is, 
And that's the other thing is I wanted I wanted to skip because you know maybe we hit Mystic Shot. Kill this Echo. It'd be really nice to be able to kill that Echo. Gotcha, little guy. Could have sworn he said something. So I assume they're making more chrono breaks. So you can assume they're gonna have a chrono break here. They do only have three mana. And they've gotten all three drop orders for absolutely free. That's the dream. Just so, such good free blockers. And that also, of course, thins the deck. Time is money. By three. Yeah, they're putting more Hexite Crystals into their deck. Minding details is my duty. So we can predict and draw a card looking for uh, Chrono Break besides just getting Chrono Break. Alright, so they're finally doing that to get rid of the Spell Shield. Attack or play Bruiser first? Play Perfectionist. Chrono Breaks! Yes! Perfect! Now we get to make more Chrono Breaks. Okay, so they got Chrono Break also. So we get to draw our Chrono Break right there. Um, yeah, let's go in Time Trick. It costs two mana. So I can only play one right here. Oh, I should Chrono Break first, get that thing out for the Augment. Get him play for the Augment. Oh, had all these things die this round? Oh, I forgot about them. Yeah, I messed up. These could have all been a little bit bigger. Why is this game so hard? So I don't really want to talk with these two powers into Echo. -uh. Real good to see you. So 
So it's basically, will they kill us with Hexite Crystals or not? That's kind of the game right now. Yeah, they just want to... They just want to Chrono Break themselves. But so do we. Good thing, like, their cards are twice as expensive as ours, thankfully. You know, basically, if they have a second Hexite Crystal, it kills all of our stuff. And we can kind of assume they have a second Hexite Crystal. So I need to find another Chrono Break. Or Parallel Convergence, right? Like, we want to find those kind of cards. That's why I'm playing these. We can make more Parallel Convergence. They're down to just four mana. My paws. Ooh. Essentially tapping out. We find a parallel convergence first. Uh, skip. Let's skip again. Sorry, Clockling, we have an ancient preparation that's in the way. Keep on growing stuff thanks to the augment. And this looks pretty lethal. No, not quite lethal. They can go to one. Doesn't really matter what we choose to put on top, I guess, because we're gonna play like this other time trick to look for a Chrono Break or a one damage spell or a Mystic Shot. And Glorious Evolution, pretty awesome. Parallel Convergence cost three. So, oh, oh. What am I doing? I'm out of fast priority. <laughs> Alright, we found it. There we go, GG's. Pretty nice having all these costs one less mana. Okay, so, ended up going three and two. And I think it, both of my losses, I think I could have had better decisions. And who knows, <laughs> negative 89. Who knows, gonna maybe, you know, potentially won both of them. Or at least I could have definitely put myself in better positions to win both of them. Um, predict decks can be tough to play though. Like they're they're really skill intensive to play for sure. Like you, when you make all those decisions, not only you can set yourself in re really up in a really good position to win, but you can also make the incorrect decisions and uh, cost yourself the game. But it's all about like you know recognizing what decisions you made that were incorrect and learning from it in the future. So if you make mistakes yourself, it's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. Kind of try to like find those mistakes, try to learn from them, and correct them in the future. That's what it's all about. It's all about getting better for 
uh, the future and getting getting better for future games and learning. Um, but that was pretty cool. You know, like uh, the Pharaoh's Financier getting Glorious Evolution. Glorious Evolution in this kind of deck actually looked pretty insane. Uh, Pharaoh's Financier uh, getting that done. Um, I, we didn't get to do a cool Servitude of Desolation, unfortunately. I know it was like Chrono Break Servitude deck. Didn't really get to show off Servitude, but we did show off uh, Chrono Breaks for sure. And just like Echo and Sivir and attacking a bunch and with chrono breaks and uh cold shot so we really sh we're really i guess a parallel convergence chrono break deck cool cool all right but those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and as always leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed watching it let me know over there um and hopefully you're having a good thanksgiving and uh you know week and everything like that so um, yeah, leave some comments and I'll talk to you over there. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I can't say that enough and I'll see you for the next video.